Welcome to the this FMC tutorial. You probably didn't expect me to be this big, didn't you? Mm. So anyway, I'm Lance. I'm Live Fly Guy. This is my channel. I Twitch on I I Twitch on Twitch. I stream on Twitch. If you want to check my stream out, um, please do so. I I I stream there. If you want to chat, I I don't know if I mentioned that. Anyway, so. You didn't expect this in the tutorial, didn't you? Huh? No, so anyway. Um, welcome to the Airbus FMC tutorial. As you can see, we are in the beautiful uh, Airbus plane. Uh, at Whoa, I'm, I'm blocking it out. There it is. See that? Wow, absolutely amazing. We're at Atlanta, and I'm going to teach you how to use the FMC. So, yeah. The first step to doing the FMC is actually um, making sure that you don't cover the entire screen of the aircraft. So just make sure that your face doesn't cover the plane so you can see it. Like so. Okay. Next thing uh, is SimBrief. You want SimBrief. SimBrief is a flight planning software dispatch system and it is your best friend it's free just make an account and roll with it and you're gonna be absolutely in love and everything like that so just 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 get simbrief here we go simbrief we're in it airline we're delta we're at 12 we're at atlanta and we're gonna go to lax for the example so it's gonna be atlanta to lax just in this example. Um, obviously, if you're going anywhere to anywhere, just do whatever you're doing, obviously. Uh, and we're in the A319, but, I mean, it's Airbus. You can do whatever the heck you want. Um, whatever plane you're in. Here's our route. There we go. Analyze it. I'm still an old Airac. Don't kill me. But, um, yeah. So, it gives a little map. It's very nice. It gives a map of where we're flying and stuff. And all you do is you kind of just... Make sure it's all good. Save the flight and generate. Dope. Okay. Once you're in the, uh, once you've generated it, it just gives all your information. Delta 12, A319, uh, we're Delta 12, obviously. Atlanta, LA, uh, gives us an alternate, our cruise altitude, uh, our air time, so it's a four hour and 13 minute flight. It gives us our route that we're going to use to do the FMC. Gives us our cost index of five. Uh, it gives us our departure runway and our arrival runway. Let's get into the sim and set up all this information that SimBrief gives us. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that like so. Let's get into the sim. We're going to obviously go down into the FMC. The first thing you do is go to init. Boom. Now you're going to initialize everything. I don't, I don't, I think in it sounds for that. I don't fully, but anyway, Atlanta, K-A-T-L, and then slash K-L-A-X. So it's pretty much just departure airport slash arrival airport. Boom. Put that up. Okay. Now, do you see how this is not loaded? It's not loading either. It's not, it's not ready. So we got to do something called align the IRS. Set these all to nav. See that? It's now aligning. If you put that all the way over to H, I, you know what? It doesn't seem like it's working. Normally, there's supposed to be a thing that says it's like five minutes left till it aligns or how many minutes left till it aligns. But it's not doing that. I don't know. Whatever. Just as long as these things are to nav, you're good. It'll be like this on any aircraft. See how it says that there's seven minutes till aligning? Well, that means in seven minutes, this will be working. So... <laughs> Yeah, we need to align the aircraft. That's the first thing you do. Um, click IRS align. Boom. And let's go back into SimBrief. Flight level, 360. So we're going to check. 360. Boom. Cost index. I'm just going to put 80. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Remember I said 5? I was, I was just going to do 80 just for a simple... To, to just... You know I'm not editing this down to, like, the basic bone of the this recording, because the simple is definitely going to make the final cut of the video, and this sentence is probably too, so I'm editing parts of it, but <laughs> it's pretty... <laughs> 
Anyway, five. There we go. That's set. We go to flight plan. Boom. Now, this is just a basic FMC tutorial. Um, I am in the Tolis a a A320, so there might be little, like, quirks with your a Airbus. Like, the flight factor, I know, is slightly different than the Tolis. Like, slightly different. So, um... But this is just a basic, like, if you get this, you'll be able to fly any Airbus fully, pretty much. Pretty much. Like, just some basic, basic things might be different. Um, but this is, like, an Airbus FMC, so... Anyway, so, after we do flight plan, Atlanta, departure. Remember in Simbrief, when we go there, and we look down, and we g scroll down, it would be up here, if you just started scrolling down in initially, but can find it zero nine left so let's just plug that in zero nine left boom so that's the departure runway now when we're here again you can see nasa 2 so nasa 2 departure boom let's scroll through nasa 2 all right do we have any transition it says y'all transition right here y'all transition there we go so, is y'all in here? Yes, it is. Enter. Inserts. Boom. We're good. So, let's go through. Now, it's a NASA 2 to y'all. Perfect. If we looked at Simbrief again, we'll see it goes DCT. So, that is not a waypoint. That just means we go direct to this waypoint. Don't put in DCT to your FMC. Don't do it. So, we're going to KM24 Kilo, which is a weird name. Normally, it's like... Like, actually, normal names. Like, Hippie. And Y'all. But, like, this is weird. Anyway, I don't... KM24 Kilo. Let's let's put that in. KM24 Kilo. Boom. So, if you want to put in a new waypoint, you can, I think, go like this and do next waypoint and put in, like, KM24 Kilo, like how we did so there. Um, or you can just put it in below it like how we also just did so you can do both ways if that makes any sense i hope it does um next thing is kf27 echo here i'll do the other way now k m ooh, never mind wait, wait i'll do the other way next waypoint k m two seven echo see there you go or we could have I'll clear it, actually. I'll delete it. KM27 Echo. See? There's two ways to insert the new waypoint. There's two ways. So, you can do whatever you think is easiest. Let's go back into Simbrief. After KF27 Echo, we go to LTS. LTS. Boom. So, what this is doing... The IRS is still four minutes in a line, so we can't see here. But this is creating a route from Atlanta all the way to L.A. And it's going to be really cool. Um, it's going to create a line in your sim from Atlanta all the way. And we put in these waypoints. We're literally putting in spots in the Earth to fly to so autopilot will be able to fly that and it'll show you how to get there and once the irs aligns you'll see exactly how it is and if you already don't know um but yeah so now we've, we've put in everything up to here we need to continue and put the rest of the route in so let's let's continue doing that um you could get the route from here which is kind of hard to find it just gives you the departure runway and arrival runway which Simbrief, I'd say, is wrong a quarter of the time. I'd check and make sure if the runway is correct, checking winds from, like, a Metar yourself. But you could just use Simbrief if you're lazy like me. <laughs> or you can just use the route up here. This is a, little, a bit easier. I'll continue with this. So LTS, we've already put that in. Now KA3430 Uniform. Which is weird, because... It, these seem like airways, like the J231 airway, but it's not. You can know because it says direct to there, which means that's at a, it's a waypoint, because we're going direct to a waypoint. 
Um, and then uh, airway is like you're going from a waypoint on a highway and exiting the highway, so it doesn't have direct. You'll see. You'll see. It, but these these are weird waypoints. These almost look like airways. Anyway, KA30 uniform. That's just that's just very confusing. I, I, I'm I'm sorry. I didn't know. That that's a little confusing. I'm I'm sorry that this route has a little bit confusing waypoints because normally they don't look like that. But anyway, KA30 uniform. KA30 you know I it's weird that I'm doing I'm not saying kilo alpha 30 uniform but I'm saying KA30 uniform I don't know why I'm saying that but whatever let's put that in and now we got another direct to DRK I'm not even going to show you it I think you get it <laughs> DRK but now here's something different those were just direct to waypoints that was waypoint to waypoint to waypoint to waypoint to waypoint like this. It's waypoint to this waypoint to this waypoint to this waypoint to this waypoint. But now we're doing something different. We're taking a highway in the air. They're called airways. They should be called... Actually, airway is a pretty good name, not gonna lie. But, yeah, so we're taking the airway... Juliet three two th three Juliet two three one two heavy. So let's put that in. If you have an airway, this is what I do. Click on DRK Airway Juliet Oh god I forgot it. <laughs> From DRK to the Juliet two three one. Two, three, one. Boom. Now, let's go to Hippie. Hippie. H-I-P-P-I. H-I-P-P-I. Boom. Return. Look down. Boom. Alright, we took the Juliet 231 to Hippie. A lot of times, there'd be waypoints in between... Seems like we're just taking the first exit off at the highway. Um, we could have technically just done direct to Hippie, but a lot of times when you get onto airways and you do this like so, it'll fill tons of waypoints and it makes the process very easy. But um, this, sadly, it was just a, we took like the first hot exit off the highway is my best analogy. So next we go Hippie direct to Gabble. So, let's go put Gabble in. G-A-B-B-L. G-A-B-B-L. Boom. And then let's look again. Here. And Hollywood won with the 2-5 left uh, runway. So, what we do is we go flight plan. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Flight plan. And to get to the arrivals, you click destination right here. Boom. Arrival. Two five left. Hollywood one. Novia. Is Gabble in the transitions? It is. There we go. Insert. Boom. So now we have an entire route all the way to LA. And you can see here, it's drawn it up too. If you go to plan, you can see. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, these are weird as heck. It may th I may have made a mistake. I said kilo, mic, 2-4 kilo. That may have not been the air waypoint because it, it's just totally off, see? Okay, everything is weird. So now we have to fix our mistake. Um, you If you're smart... You probably wouldn't make a mistake. Um, you maybe admit, m even notice my mistake. But let's fix it. Let's see. So. Here's the route. We're going the right direction. T kilo Mike 24 Kilo seems correct. And then this is the wonky one. Kilo Mike 27 Echo. 
Well, let's look at Simbrief. Ah, it's Kilo Fox Trot 27 Echo. There we go. So I made a mistake. I accidentally put in the wrong waypoint. So let's put this in. Let's clear it. Boom. And then let's go Kilo Fox Trot 27 Echo. Boom. Let's clear the discontinuity. And now let's look at our route. There we go. Perfect. See? So now what we have is our departure runway, 09 left. Say right there's a runway. Our departure out of Atlanta, and autopilot will follow this line all the way, a big line going all the way to LA on the other side of the country, and it's perfect. So, flight plan is set. Nice. Perfect. So, if you go back to ARC, you're not in plan mode where you can look through it. Arc just has your plane at the center, and you can show how far you want to see. But, uh, yeah, so, there you go. That's pretty much the basics of the FMC. Um, you can fill out your performance in it, uh, info. It's different per plane where you get the info. Like, in the Tolis, you go here, but in other Airbuses and other add-ons, it's different, but you can find your V1 is 149, like so, and just fill out this information, flex temp, 64, you know, V2, VR is 149 also, and I know in the flight factor, you could get all this info, every single, all this info from, like, an iPad, um, but in the TOLUS, it's there, so you just fill all that out, flaps, um, you know, we're taking flaps 1 uh, for departure, and we go 1 slash DN 0 0.1, DN 0 0.1, and uh, V2 is 151, so it, it is different per aircraft where you find that information, but that is in the TOLUS, but everything is set up. That is the FMC. Um... Like I said, there's different things that are... It, things are different per aircraft. Um, same with, like, if you go to Init, and you go in the next page here, you can fill out this information. But, um... Yeah, that, that that's just weight and balance. In the TOLUS, you don't even need to do that. Like, it, it's, just, it, it's literally pointless in the TOLUS, which I think is just a... In real life, that might not even be the case, but, um... That's just this aircraft. Um, like I said, there are quirks between every single aircraft. Um, developer, like, slight things, but filling out the flight plan itself, which is the hardest part, is exactly the same. Like, this is an Airbus FMC. You know what I mean? This is an MCDU. So, um, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I do Twitch. I have Instagram if you want to check me out live. Twitch. Subscribe to the channel. This channel if you, if you want to see more like tutorials. And on top of that, just interesting videos. that Stuff. I'm going to do some IRL cool stuff too. Uh, so get really hyped for that on the upcoming soon. <laughs> uh... Seriously, there's, there's some really cool stuff coming on, but thanks for watching. Bye-bye. See ya. Check the description. There's some links down there. Just saying. Bye-bye. <laughs>